Though my parents lived in New York for many years, their European roots defined them. My Greek mother boasted about the blueness of the Aegean, and my father praised the Swiss Alps. But for me, none of Europe's shrines could compete with a place that was only several blocks from my home. Central Park is where my brother and I found native soil. Years later, Central Park's history and presence still fascinate me. A few days ago, I was sitting on a bench near the boat pond, trying to imagine my surroundings as they looked a century ago, without asphalt or car traffic. Back then, the park was stocked with wild deer, and its meadows were home to sheep and horned cattle. There were gilded bird cages and children driving goat-drawn carriages. My thoughts were in this Victorian park when a woman with a team of dogs caught my attention. Come. Come. Why would a professional dog walker carry such a big backpack? Then I see the backpack is loaded with laundry and blankets. Maybe it was her air of well-being that made me curious. When I introduced myself, she said her name was Maggie. Then she calmly said that she had been expecting me, that she had extrasensory perception, and had been communicating with me for several days. The next morning, I find myself near Bethesda Fountain, looking for Maggie. Sometimes I forget I have a face. I'm so used to doing this without a fountain. I'm Hera, sister of Zeus. Now, if Zeus and Jupiter are the same, that'll be a relief. <laughs> but uh, in Stairway to Heaven, uh, there's a little, uh, and did you know? Your stairway lies on the whispering wind. The whispering wind is the uh, voices. The radio control. Jupiter controls the radio waves. Things don't necessarily get clearer to me the more Maggie explains them, but I manage to piece this much together. She claims her father was the Hollywood movie star, Robert Ryan. She once had an apartment on the Upper West Side with a roommate named P. Green Palmer. She mentions a horse named Tangle and having once worked in Central Park as a carriage driver. Her oldest son, Michael, was born in 1969. The quintuplets, Justin, Elizabeth, two Tracys, and Isidore, were born some time later. When I ask her who her husband was, she says his name is Jupiter. 